Michael Pereira served his country with honor in Afghanistan. Four years ago, he looked forward to leaving the service to be with his wife and family. But he was forced to put his civilian life on hold. When I was uh, told that our unit would be stop lost uh, due to deployment to Afghanistan, I, I really didn't know what it meant at that time. Due to the need for more troops, Pereira was barred from leaving the military in order to serve five more months. He was stop lost. Contract says stop loss is only in a time of war. This president has said the war's over, so legally. New lawyer son. Pereira's story oh, and thousands like it were made into a movie about the military stop loss program. Years later, Uncle Sam is now saying thank you. And beneficiaries the money they're entitled to. It's called the Stop Loss Compensation Act. $500 for every month a service member served past their original discharge date. Pereira recently filed a claim and is expecting a check in the mail. For Air Force Sergeant Eric Sharman and his wife Melissa, who received their check in August, the money couldn't have come at a better time. I mean, we're trying to move into a larger apartment. We've got a baby on the way. On average, it's paying out at about $3,800. But we've had some applicants receive over $7,000. That's it, real money. That's real money. Still, despite what the Pentagon calls its best efforts, fewer than half of those eligible have received the funds. You may be entitled to special retroactive pay. And the president did a PSA. So the Secretary and the chairman have done their PSAs. The services have used uh, social media to an extent I have never seen used in any government program. Since the payout program was announced last year, just 69,000 of the 145,000 eligible servicemen and women have filed and received payment. That's left close to $250 million yet unclaimed. Why is it taking so long to reach all these service members to get them what, what they've earned? You know, it's a new kind of approach to really reach out to our service members to make sure they get this additional compensation. It hasn't been done before. This month, Congress extended the filing date, giving America's sons and daughters who serve this nation more time to apply and receive money they earned. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Washington.